Hi, my name is Lani Harris. I go to Manhattan School for Children and I'm in sixth grade. In science class, my group and I were working together to build a sustainable and eco-friendly apartment building. We all played a part in planning its sustainability. My job was to design the building. There are a few important design elements that I thought about for this project. Building location, energy sources, and water. I had to think about where I'd build my building. I focused on two types of locations, a greenfield, a greenfield site and a greyfield site. A greenfield site is home to many animal and plant species. If we were to build there, it would make my building less sustainable. Once a greenfield site is developed, it's unlikely for it to convert back to greenfield use. My solution for that is to develop my apartment building on a greyfield site. Greyfield sites are sites that have already been developed, so if we were to build there, no harm would be done to the environment. Another issue I came across was energy sources. Large apartment buildings use a lot of energy, like mine. After investigating many options, the best solution for me was to use solar panels. One really cool thing about solar panels is that its electricity comes from the sun. The sun's rays give off approximately 1,000 watts of energy per square meter. Solar panels take that energy and use it. You can use 1,000 watts of energy to power an air conditioner for one whole hour. I would put the solar panels on, my, on the sides of my apartment building as, so, as shown over there. Right now, solar panels are an expensive solution and the cost depends on where you live. There's also cost for installation. However, I decided that it would be well worth the price because you can use the energy to power quite a lot. The third large concern I faced while designing my apartment building was water because we use water in our daily lives all the time and it can get wasteful. After researching the topic, I figured out the best solution was to use a water boosting system. Water boosting systems are systems that carry an amount of water to individual homes. There are a few different kinds of water boosting systems. For example, the rooftop tank solution, the pressurized systems, and the zone divided systems. The one that I used for my building is called a series connective system. And this system carries water to only where it's needed and not past it. Unlike other systems, this one has low cost and doesn't take up a lot of space. Before ending, I'd like to sum up my thoughts. Although some of these issues seem to be problematic at first, I was able to solve them. Once you research all the options, you will see that there's always a way to be sustainable. When you're building or designing a structure, remember to think about how sustainable each part of your structure is.